Hello, my friends. Today we'll take a closer look at Adobe uh, Firefly. This is kind of like the mid journey is a text to image AI program also has text effects and so much more. And I have the beta version. I just want to show you a quick look on how you can use this for product photography. Now, when you open Adobe Firefly, this is the way the program looks like. You have text to image. You can generate text effects, recolor vectors. Then you have the get inspired and you can see full gallery on what people have created, beautiful art. And if you're not good at generating things like I am, I'm not very uh, good at it. I don't have a lot of imagination. You can find something you like and you can try the prompt and that will show you the keywords the person used to make this image. And then you can kind of get inspired from that and take it from there and modify it and create your own. So how will we use this for product photography? Well, let's generate, first of all, we'll do a couple of examples. The first one we'll do, we'll generate just the background. Let's say we wanna do a product photo, and we need the background for it. You see this uh, dialogue over here, this is where you put your text. So I'm just gonna say product photography background. and then click on enter, see what we get. Now Firefly is gonna give us four options. Also you have here the aspect ratio, content type, we'll go through this. Let's change the aspect ratio. I'm gonna work with landscape for this. And let's see what it gives us. So we have this, none of them looked really great so far. So let's see if we add some more cues in here. I'm going to put maybe 3D in the beginning of the sentence, see if that makes it a little bit more realistic. That is looking better. I'm also going to change from art to photo over here. And that makes it look like it has a little bit more detail. So 3D photography background, maybe add clean lines. See what that one gives us. And we can keep building it up by adding words, give it more cues until we end up with something that we like. All right, that is not too bad. Let's see, maybe my product is uh, orange or blue. So let's see, orange and blue. Let's see what we get with that. All right, now we're getting somewhere. We can work with this. Maybe we want to add highly realistic. Not bad. Let's say we like this one over here. If we want to see more the same like this, you can click this show similar. And it should give us three different options that are similar. All right. Um, I'll show more similar because I don't like any of those. All right. Um, I kind of like this one. This one is not bad either. We can like cut out our product and put it right on this orange uh, cylinder over there. Maybe let's add one more prompt saying negative space. All right, let's say we like this one. Uh, we also have here uh, styles. If I open up this style thing, we'll get all kinds of styles. If I go to all, we can do like fantasy. That would not help us for product photography, obviously. But those don't look bad. Let's try concept art. Generate. All right, not bad. 
Now let's say I want for the composition, we can say shot from below. And this one is not really from below. But you can see how you can use something like this and put your product wherever you want. Just make sure you uh, pay attention to the lighting where it comes from and so on. And you know, you can create your own background. Now let's look at something more realistic, like more what I would use this program for. I took a photo the other day, just with my phone on my shop, I built this tissue box. Now this is just a snapshot with my phone. It's nothing, you know, fancy about it or anything. And as you can see my woodworking shop, it's just in my garage, so it's nothing fancy about it. What if I wanna cut out this tissue box and put it on a nice, uh, you know, woodworking shop? Well, let's see how we can generate the background for that. So for this one, I'm gonna say square uh, brown tissue box. Let's see where we get with that. All right, that's just a tissue box. That's a good start. Now I'm gonna say in a woodworking shop. All right, let's see what that one gives us. That is not bad. Maybe I'll add in the beginning here a uh, side view. That is not bad. I want to see a little bit more of the shop. So maybe I will add with lots of tools. All right. Maybe I want side light because that's the way I was planning on shooting my box. So let's see what that gives us. Not bad. I actually don't want square. I want landscape. And that will give us different results when you change the aspect ratio. Not bad at all. Maybe we want to add next to two chisels. Because chisels will be a good prop for it since, you know, sometimes it's used for making those boxes. All right, we do have some chisels. Uh, maybe some wood shaving, shavings will be nice too. And wood shavings. Let's see what we get now. Not bad. Let's refresh and get some new images until we find something that we like and we could use. Not bad. And as you can see, it's just a matter of time until you find the image that works for you and you feel you could use. Not bad. Then I'll change it to photo and so on. As you can see, you can create um, different images. And then, like I said, just make sure you pay attention to where the light is coming from when you shoot your product and replace it into, you know, this image. Let's take a look at the text effect. For the text effect, you see people have generated all kinds of, and you can do some really cool stuff with that. So let's see if we enter the text. All right. And then the text effects, let's say liquid gold. There we go. And now we have the text effect fit as medium. That means it doesn't stay completely in the line. You said we have these drips. 
If you want it to be tight and stay completely inside the lines, you can click on tight and then it's going to look completely different. And then if you want to come outside the line quiet a bit, you can choose loose. But from my experience, it doesn't give that good of an effect. So you see now we have lots of drips. Then you can change the color of the background. Let's see if we just make it blue. Now you can see it better. So that was the loose, then this is the medium, this is the tight. And let's see, um, let's change this like pink flowers and jungle. See what do we get there. So this is what we would get on the tight effect, in the medium, we will get some outside of the letters. And what I like about this program is that it's really, really easy to use. Anybody can use it. It's just not a lot of choices. You just click on things, add words, and it could be really, really fun. I think my kids will enjoy it quite a lot. So let's pick a different color for the background here. Um, what do we want? Maybe purple. Purple could look nice with that. You see some cool art people made this one. Let's see what jungle vine with birds. So let's try that prompt. Jungle vine with birds. Let's make it blue color. Make it blue, see what happens. There you go. Now we have it in blue. It's really, really fun. I've been playing with it since yesterday. Um, and it's just it's just the fun things to do. I think it will be very, very useful for uh, those of you that do product photography. And uh, that was just a quick overview on how it works, what it looks like. I hope this was helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing, and I'll see you in my next video.